Okay, cool, man. So from here, what we'll do today is we'll we'll install the pixel, which is time. The, the pixel is time is is time consuming because you got multiple pages, but but really we'll just focus on the first few pages, and then you'll know you'll know how to do it after that. So once I show you how to yeah. put it on on two pages, um, mm -hmm. we'll you'll know how to do it after that. So we'll do the pixel, and then we'll take um, the links, and we'll set up custom audiences, and we'll set up a custom conversion. Okay. And I'll explain what everything is as well. So from here, click on overview. So now we we clicked on the events manager. Now we're in the events manager and now we're um, on overview. So click there and then you'll click on, um, if you scroll, get rid of that, minimize that top part, import that top part, important changes. Yeah, get rid of that. So right there, you see add events, the drop down mm -hmm. in the middle. Click on that. This is how you get to your pixel. So from a new website, and then you'll click on install code manually. And then you'll click on copy code and that's it. And then hit continue. And then go ahead and um, go ahead and make sure all this is turned on. So you're good there. So hit continue and then you're good. So just X out. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now um, what you'll do is you'll, you have it copied. So now let's just, let's go to Kartra and let's open up, let's open up a page. So first page we're gonna do, um, and then you'll want to start putting everything in categories as well in your pages. Okay. So hit that drop down all categories. Cause right here you have all these shared and then you have client funnels. You have the five step blueprint. So, so um, whatever pages you're, you're, you're going to be working on, or mm -hmm. if those, if those are the pages there, then, you know, whatever, but you'll want to start putting everything in categories. So um, click on clients funnel. What's in, what's in that folder or category. So you got clients folder. So you got that one in, in clients funnel. Were you just testing that one or is that an actual? Page? Yeah, I believe so. No, it's, it's test. Yeah. So just delete it then delete it. Yeah. And then, um, or you can leave it. It's up to you. I don't want to throw you off if you, if you plan on working on that specific page. That's okay. Okay. So then go to, um, so go back client funnel clients funnels and just go back to, um, so you only really have one category, then the five-step blueprint, and that's the category that um, that I had everything in. Is that mm -hmm. are those the pages you'll be working on? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So then just go to that one. Then yeah, go to that category, and so, um, and that's why that's why categories are, are are super important because as you start to build out different pages and work on different projects, by default, when you click on my pages to the left, it shows you every freaking page like in all your funnels and it can get confusing. It could, it could take you forever to find that one page that you were looking for. You know what I mean? So if you mm -hmm. put everything in categories, it just makes it faster to find that page. Right. Okay. You feel me? So, okay. So in this case, are we, are we working with, um, yeah. So just, we're, so all you're going to do is just change out these templates and, 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 you know, put your own little two cents to it. So we'll just go off that off of, off of all of them, really just let's start with the opt-in. We'll do the opt-in and we'll do the thank you page. So we'll oh. add the pixel on those two pages. And then after that, you'll know how to do it. So click on the three dots and then go into, go into edit. And then also see, so for right here, what you'll want to do is you'll want to manage my categories. Yeah. You'll want to rename it, take away the D, you know, take away the TFSBB, like rename the damn thing, like whatever you, you plan on, you know, naming it, then, then that could be, you know, where, where you do it. So Real estate opt-in, perfect, or whatever, you know? Yeah, just for now. Okay. You say in the category, can I? Um, yeah, so hit manage my categories. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, see, so now, now you'll start putting everything, all these pages in in this new category and what you can do is you can just delete hit the x on um on the five so you want to add it first go ahead and add it add it okay and then and then just um so then scroll down and let's just get rid of the, the five step one so get rid of that five step funnel or category you're not getting rid of the funnels or the pages you're just getting rid of the category Okay, I was wondering. Like, these yeah, so it's just the category. Okay. So now you'll start dumping everything in 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 that real estate book. Okay. Cool. Okay, so hit done, and then it'll bring you back to the drop down, where you can choose that category. So 
now now these other ones are going to be in no category but now you'll you'll as you come into each future page you'll go ahead and just make sure you you match it in that category put it in that one okay. cool okay. so so edit you're good okay perfect so we change the page name we change the category and now we're coming into the page when i come into a page for the very first time um there's two things that i'll do right away the very first two things before I even edit, before I care about anything, before I change the image, what any of that stuff. The first two things is I'll click on settings to the left. Um, in fact, both both things that I do are in settings. So two things I do, both of them are in settings. So, so number one, we're gonna change the SEO parameter. And what that is, is the title in the tab. So as you open up on, as you open up the tab on any website, you see a title. So those three tabs you have open, post attendee Zoom, events manager, Kartra, mm -hmm. there's a title. Mm -hmm. So in all your pages, on all your pages, you're going to have a title as well. So you'll want to you'll name it. So name it, you know, whatever the hell you want. Um, that was what mine was named, free ebook for realtors. You know, you could put free ebook for real estate professionals. And, and, and what you want to do, though, also is keep in mind is you don't want that. It says 50 characters, like mm -hmm. you could for sure go 50. But if you look up at the top, your three tabs that you that are open, there's not much space. No. Like post attendee right. Zoom, you can maybe add one more word, you know, after the word Zoom, and it might fit. Events manager, you could probably put one more word or maybe two more words. But that right there, it'll all be there. It'll all be there, but it's gonna be yeah. short. Won't right? be short. Be, you won't you won't see the full thing. And and that's why with the Kartra tab, all you see there is Kartra, right? Mm -hmm. So so what you want here on the page title is something short and sweet, you know, mm -hmm. something short and sweet. I would put maybe um, ebook, ebook for real estate professionals. Actually, that's kind of the same free ebook. It, it's kind of the same length, but um, maybe, but I mean, you could play around with it. You'll, you'll, you'll yeah, apply yeah, it, yeah. open it up, take a look at it. Like you'll, you'll, you'll see what it, what it, what I'm saying and then yeah. change the page author. And here's another, another quick tip. Um, no. yeah, what this right here, all of this right here, this SEO parameters, it's really just the page title that I'm always changing. And the reason for it is the obvious when someone's on this page, they see that in the damn title, mm -hmm. it's public, you know what I mean? So, so, um, so I always want to make sure that says something good. And I want to say, make sure it says something short and sweet. And I always, I always also make it some type of call to action, depending on the page, You'll do it on the thank you page. We'll change the page title on the thank you page. And I'll put something like schedule your call now, right? Mm -hmm. Because that's what I'm trying to get them to do. And, and that's what I want them to see in the page title, um, depending on what page it is. So, but it's the page. What I'm really saying, my point is, is that the page title, free ebook, real estate pros, the page title is what I'll change on every page. Mm -hmm. But all this other mm -hmm. stuff that you're doing right now, Mm -hmm. page meta description, page meta keywords, page author, and then you'll scroll down, mm -hmm. scroll down, and then you'll click on, um, you could change that title right to the five-step blueprint. You can change that to, to the name of your, of your ebook, um, and then the image selected. All of this right here, it's only just, and again, I'm recording this, so don't worry about taking notes, but just keep this in mind. It's only necessary for a landing page, all this shit right here. Now the page title for every page, but all this other stuff only for the landing page okay. because that information and the image selected. So go ahead and, and, and hit image selected. You're going to want to choose an image. All that is important only for a landing page because that's the information that shows when someone shares the link on social media. Mm. Okay. So if I take this homepage, if I take this opt-in page and share it on Facebook, or I share it on LinkedIn, or I post it on Twitter, hey guys, this is for a free book for real estate agents, click here to download your free copy, and I post it on freaking LinkedIn, that information shows. Mm -hmm. And and that's a good thing. The image, the description, the freaking title of the damn book, like not just the page title. The page title shows in the tab. The very first one that we changed at the top, that shows in the tab, but all this other information shows in the description of that post. Mm. And it makes it makes it look super legit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so, so I'll only do this for a landing page. Okay. Um, 
if I really plan on sharing that landing page on social media. Now we're going to be running Facebook ads to it. So, I mean, you know, but, but by, by default and just by human nature, you're going to, you're going to share the damn link on social media. Mm -hmm. Like you're going to be so fired up. Once you have all this shit put together, you're going to want to share it, share it on your damn page. You know what I mean? And, And when you do that information shows. Okay. So, so, Again, it's only and and you're only sharing a, a freaking landing page. You're not going to be sharing on Facebook your freaking thank you page. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So so yeah. it's only it's only it's only this part that all this information is necessary. So right here is where you'll choose the image and 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 um and and all that. So you can change that part later. Yeah. Um, I can find the image. Okay. And I'll show you, and and we'll take a look at it too. We'll take a look at it. Um, we'll take a look at it and what it looks like on social media, so you can really see what I'm saying. But just hit confirm, and anytime you're changing anything over here, man, anytime you're always gonna click that apply button, the green button. Whenever you see a freaking green button, click the damn thing, because it's either a save, it's either an edit, which you have to click it to save it, or it's an apply, mm-hmm. where you have to save it. So no, to the bottom left, bottom left. So anytime you're in the left-hand side over here and you see a green button, always scroll to the bottom. You have to apply it or else you it won't save. So um, so that's the first thing I change is, is really just the page title and you'll only spend time on all this other stuff on a landing page. So, so now click on settings again to the left. The first thing is the page title. The second thing is the pixel, so the tracking code. So we'll click on that and then scroll to the very, very bottom and you'll probably see my old pixel. Yeah, so just delete that one. And then and then you're going to add yours. Make sure you delete all of it. Yeah, every character. Yeah, delete the whole damn thing. Um, and then just paste in yours. So from this point on, did you put a space? Was there a space there? I could have swore you hit the space. Do that again. Just, um, no, you're good. You should be good. You should be good. Yeah, so just cl- click apply. So from this point on, you really don't have to go back into the Facebook ads manager, the events manager and grab the pixel. If you don't want to just grab it from there. Oh, nice. Yeah. Just grab it from there, but make sure you grab all of it. Like copy yeah. it, make sure yeah. you're copying everything. That's very important. Um, sometimes you'll miss a, l- a little letter and the whole thing's thrown off, you know? So, mm-hmm. so, so you can always grab it from here and, and put it on the next page. Perfect. You know, so just go off of, yeah, just go off of this, go off of your landing page, your opt-in page pixel. So you clicked apply, so we're good. So those are the two things, the page title and the pixel. So now mm-hmm. we go to the very, very top and we'll do all the editing later, but of the page. So now actions, hit actions at the top and there's always that three click exit. So you already clicked apply yeah. over there, so you're good. So just go to actions, save progress, and then you're gonna publish live. So that's the first mm-hmm. click, save progress, X out of that, and then publish live. And then as I publish live, so we're exiting the page as I publish live, I'll always change out the link. That's, this is the time to get the page link. This is the time to change it. So we changed it there and here's the deal. I wouldn't put opt-in like that's not, I mean that I don't want the general public to see opt-in, you know what I mean? So, so um, what I tend to do here a lot of the times is I'll, um, I'll name it so it'll be the reazone.com forward slash. And a lot of the times what I'll do is I'll I'll name it there what I named the page title. So sometimes, depending on how long it, it is or whatever, but again, mm-hmm. that page title should not be no longer than what you already have because that real estate professional, that's pretty damn long. Like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. future, you want it to be shorter than that. But okay. um but that same 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 title could be that as well. I do that a lot. So whatever I name the page title, I'll also put right there. Yeah. Okay. You know, so 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 the reazone.com forward slash free ebook. You know, yeah. um, that could be good. Okay. And here's another another little side note tip too. The dashes are, aren't really necessary um, oh, okay. because if you tell me that, if you verbally to- told me that, it's, it's kind of, you're like, okay, David, go to the reazone.com forward slash free dash E dash. You know what I mean? Versus you saying, David, go to the reazone.com forward slash free ebook. 
mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like it, even though there's three E's in the damn thing, I still know how to spell that, right? Free ebook. Yeah. Yeah. I don't got to worry about dashes and shit like that. Right. So, so I think that should that that should be that should be, or maybe even go free book, free book. Mm, you know, yeah. do free book. Yeah, just do free book. Re zone dot com forward slash free book. Bam, you're good. So here's the deal. There's a three click exit. We hit actions. We save progress. That was number one. We hit actions. We publish live. This is number two. And as I do this, I change out the link. I, I, I copy that link. So here's what we're doing. We're copying the link, copy that link, open it up in a new tab. And the reason why you want to do this is so Facebook can read it for the first time. We just put that pixel on the page, let them read the damn thing for the first time. So we open it up and then we hit that Facebook pixel helper to the right and just make sure that that's your pixel. So you'll, you'll, you'll see your pixel right there. Perfect. So you're good. Um, so now let's go back to Kartra and now we're good there. We, we just changed out the link. We're going to close. And then our third click is actions and then return a dashboard. That's it. So you'll want to do that for all your pages, change the page title, add the pixel. Um, and see, so here's the deal. Here's the deal. Now, actually we got to go back in. We got to go back in. We got to grab the pixel unless you want to just grab it from the events manager since your tabs up there at the top. But, um, what we just did right now is we save progress. We published live. We copied that link. Mm-hmm. We put it in the freaking new tab. What we should have done is went back to the tracking code, copy the pixel again, and then return a dashboard. You know what I mean? Okay. okay well, let's, my bad. Let's my bad. I should have told you that. All right. Okay. So, so right. either one, either go back into the page or go to the events manager right at the top. I go back here. Actually, no, you wouldn't be, it would, it's, it's not there. It's, it's, um, you'd have to go in, go to the events manager. It's easier. Go back to your tabs up there. So just grab the pixel from here. So add events and then just, um, just hit the green button, you know, so from a new website, install code, copy right there. That's easier. Yeah. Copy that. And then let's go to the next page. So Kartra, and then let's just, um, you can X out of that. Yeah, you're fine. You were good. We're good there. So hit the Kartra and then just go to the thank you page. And now we're going to add the, the pixel on that page. And then what I always do as well is, is whatever, whatever funnel this is in, in, in your case, it's, it's real estate book, right? That's your real estate book. What I do no, you don't have to, you don't have to create another category. Everything goes in that one category, real estate. So, 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 but here's what I'm saying is that, yeah. So hit the drop down real estate. So all you gotta do is put in the category, but the, the page name, Whatever mm-hmm. funnel that is, you always want to name the pages the same. So, so you named the first one real estate. What was it? Real estate opt-in. Yeah. Man. Okay. So go. So, so that's what you're going with. Real estate. Thank you page. Okay. Real estate. Step one, real estate. Step two. Right. So just use that same name. It makes it easier to find these pages in the future. Okay. Okay. So that's real estate. Thank you page. Perfect. So um, edit. So as we go in and, and um, yeah, as we go in first two things, settings, page title, and now we don't have to worry about the description or the author name or the, or any of that stuff or the image of, of, of any of that. Cause this is the thank you page. So no one's sharing this page on social media, you know what I mean? But right. the title, the SEO parameter, that's important. The page title. Now on mine, it, it's, I gave, I, I transferred the page over to you. So by default, you're going to see mine. So SEO parameters hit that. And so right there, that's what I would put. So I, that's what I do put schedule your free strategy call now, mm-hmm. you know, so, so see, and you can see your other tab at the top free ebook dash real estate pros. Okay. So that's as much oh, real no. estate as you have, right? That's as much space as you have right there. Yeah. You don't want to go any longer than that. Um, and I think even schedule free strategy call now, I think that might be too long as well. Um, so maybe just free, yeah, schedule free call now. Perfect. And then, and then very, very bottom apply. Yeah. Always apply. And then um, hit settings again, go to tracking and just paste in that pixel. Perfect. So, so these are the two pages that we'll work with right now. Um and you know what? There's one more page. There's one more page. So go ahead and go ahead and paste that in. Hit apply. Okay, good. So now here's what you're gonna do. S- hit actions. Let's save progress. 
and then and then we'll publish live we'll change out that link we'll we'll copy the link we'll open it up in a new tab and then we'll come back here and copy that pixel again because we need that for one more page we'll we'll do it on one more page and that's the um call confirm page so get the page link um there's your and see so here's the deal what'd you just name the page title schedule your call now was it was that the page title yes yes yeah. schedule free call now believe yeah name it the same right there oh okay. that's what i would do so hit the pencil to the right and so just no more dashes just all one word um schedule free call now perfect so that becomes your link. So copy that, open it up in a new tab, let Facebook read it for the first time, and then um, and then close this out. So go ahead and um, open that up, make sure that that's your pixel. Okay, yeah, close that, and then um, and then just um, yeah, go back. Make sure you you hit the pixel helper. Now go back to schedule free call now. At the top, just always check the pixel. Always check the pixels. Click and oh, check. Okay. Always check your pixel. Yeah, make sure that's the right one. Perfect. So you're good. Okay, so so go back to Kartra, and then um, and then just copy the pixel, copy the pixel, and then and then we'll return to dashboard. Perfect. So then just return to dashboard. Perfect. We're good. Okay, cool. So so now we'll do one more page, and that's the call confirm page. So um, let's scroll down and let. In fact, you know what? I don't think you have a call confirm page. I don't think I sent that over with this. Scroll no. down. There's no there's no call confirm page, right? No. Okay. So, okay. So, so you have the thank you for scheduling. Yeah. That mm -hmm. one, that one's good. You can use that one. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so after they schedule in your calendar, they go, they go to that page. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect. So let's use that one. So hit that. Yeah. Let's hit the three dots going to edit. Perfect. So we'll, um, we'll make this our, our, our call confirm page. So thank you for scheduling. That's perfect. And then put it, you don't have to put it in a category. This is because, or, or you can, but it's up to you. The, the, the calendar, it's used for everything, for everything, for everything, right? So I would, if I were you, I would use my damn calendar to schedule any damn appointment. I don't care who it is. If it's a homeboy trying to hit me up, hey, bro, go to my calendar, schedule a call. <laughs> you know, so so it wouldn't necessarily be in your real estate category is what I'm saying. Right, right. You know what okay. I mean? Just leave it in no category, no category in particular. Yeah. But um, thanks for scheduling. Perfect. So hit the edit and we're good. So now we're going to come in here. Um Hit the settings to the left. Make sure the title is is cool, and then and then just hit the settings again. Go to tracking code and just add that pixel. Okay. Okay. Thank you for scheduling. That's perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for scheduling. Perfect. And then um, click apply. And then um, paste in that code. Perfect. Okay, cool, man. There it is there. Perfect. Apply. Okay, cool. So now save progress, um, publish live, change out that link if you if you haven't already. Um, and then let's just open it up. Yeah, I would I would just yeah, change it. Put thanks for scheduling. Yeah, thanks for scheduling. Perfect. Cool, man. Yeah, so just copy that, copy that, open it up. You got to always open it up in a new tab. Cool. Okay, so perfect, man. So that becomes your, your, your thank you for scheduling page. There's that. Perfect. Okay, cool. And those are the three pages we're going to work on today. So okay. go back to Kartra. Let's return a dashboard. Actually, let's, let's copy the, actually, yeah, we don't need the pixel anymore. So just, um, Hit the actions and return to dashboard. Those are the three three pages we'll we'll work on. So now, now that we have our pixel on these three pages, we're gonna now take these three pages. We're gonna go to the ads manager, events manager, and we're gonna create three custom audiences, and we're gonna create a custom conversion. Okay. So um, now let's click on the dots to the left, and we're gonna go to audiences. 
So you got your dots to the very, very left. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then um, the business tools and then go to audiences, audiences. Oh, nice. Okay, perfect. So these three audiences are super important, super, super important. Um, and as you grow and as you, as you start running more ads and, and, and getting more traffic to different, you know, parts of your funnel, um, it's really these three pages, man. Like this is the blueprint. Like it's really, you can build any business around these three pages, a, a, an opt-in page, a thank you page. Thank you for opting in. And then a thank you for scheduling page. Like those mm -hmm. are the only three pages anyone really needs. Um, and then at, again, as you grow, you'll get, you'll start to get more fancier with your funnel, which, which all that means is you're adding more pages to the funnel. That's all that means. Um, and that's where you'll put your pixel and create other audiences around other specific pages. But the blueprint is really, is really those three pages. Okay. So this one right here, squeeze page visitors. It looks like you might have actually, we just changed out the links. So yeah. you may have to change it. You may have to redo the redo these mm -hmm. um, because that's going off of free download. Mm -hmm. Is that the name of, that's not the name of the page anymore. It's free, free, free book or whatever. Yeah. Right. Sure. So mm -hmm. you can go in and edit it or, or we can just create a new one. Okay. Cause we yeah, did let's last do time. Oh, we did last time. I remember this part. But now we're doing it again off of these new pages. Yeah. So just delete it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it from scratch. Both of them? No, I think you got to do one at a time. So just do one at oh. a time. Okay. So all we're going to do is now create a custom audience. Yep. Click on that one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go off a website. And then um, let's do your, your opt-in page first. So go ahead and hit next. And then let's go to your um, opt-in page up there at the top. So just, um, and when it comes to custom audiences and custom conversions, um, mm -hmm. go ahead and click on that one, the opt-in. You're going to get the link. So just get the everything after the www. Now you don't need that question mark R done. You don't need that. You just need the reazone.com forward slash free book. That's all you need. Just, yeah, just that, that URL, not the www. Okay, cool. So everything's off of that one pixel. The events, you're going to go hit the drop down, all website visitors, and you're going to go to specific. So people who visit specific. Okay. And then that 30, you can you could take it up. I mean, it doesn't hurt to take it up to 180. And then Facebook will just start tracking everyone for the past 180 days as mm -hmm. you you know continue and go on. And then just paste it in right there. So just paste it in, in the values. Um, yeah, see, so you got to always make sure what I always do, go back to the tab free ebook. I always double click it, like just to open up the whole damn thing. Um, that's all you copied. So yeah, just make sure you, no, 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 no. You just need the reazone.com forward slash free book. Oh, okay. Yeah. So just grab that part and make sure you don't get that dot. I think you got that dot. Mm. Yeah, there you go. There, you, there we go. Should be good. Okay, cool. So yeah, just grab that. Um, and then just, right. yeah, X out of that. And then just paste it in again. And you're always going with the drop down. Always hit that drop down in blue. Perfect. Okay, cool. So, so here's the deal. We're going to exclude. So these are going to be people who only visit the landing page. They haven't opted in. So we're going to exclude. So hit exclude. And then now go to the thank you page. We're going to, we're going to, um, we're going to exclude the thank you page and the thank you for scheduling page. So open up the whole thing, double click it, make sure you don't have the WWW. Yeah. Always want to double click, open up the whole damn thing and just make sure you're only copying that URL. Okay. So all website visitors. Yeah. Change that to 180 and then the one, the all website go to specific so everything matches the top. So hit that all website visitors. You're, you're hitting the drop down mm. events. Yeah, go down to specific. So just like you did on the top, you went specific. So contains that right there and, 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 and then you're good. So just name it. So this is gonna be um, real estate opt-in, real estate opt-in. And you can name it, you know, real estate opt-in 
page visitors or visitors. Yeah, page visitors. And then in parentheses, you'll put um, only. So real estate opt-in page visitors in parentheses only. So these are only people who landed here. They haven't landed anywhere else. They've only landed here. Now, one more link you'll put in the thanks for scheduling is you'll get the, um, the thank you page link. The thank you. Thank you for opting in. So go to the schedule your call now. Schedule your call. Yeah, go down one. Get this link too. So just double click it. Open up the whole damn thing. Yeah, just grab the URL. Perfect. So um, you're excluding anyone who has landed here and you're excluding anyone who has already scheduled a call. Nice. Okay, so go ahead and paste that in at the top right there. Exclude right there next to thanks for No, 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 no. You don't need a third one. You already have this exclude. So paste it in next to that link right there at the top. Oh, okay. Yeah, so just paste it in right there. Okay, so so hit the drop down, and then there goes your two exclusions. So hit create audience, okay. and, and you're good. So that's that's one audience. That's an audience you'll always want to retarget in the future Okay. Is, is web page visitors. So now let's do the second one. So click create audience again, and now we're going to just do an audience for the leads. So anyone who's landed on your thank you page, that becomes, that that's a lead. That's our audience. So this is an audience. Hit all website visitors. Always hit the drop down. All website visitors. You're going specific. So always keep that in mind. It's always specific. Um, and then go ahead and get the link to the schedule your schedule free call. And then um, let's 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 copy that. And then on the lead, um, that's what we're going to name this one. So go ahead and paste it in there. And then the name. There's no one to exclude. You don't need to exclude anyone on this one. Um, Because we'll we'll do a, we'll do a third audience for for those who scheduled. So um, actually, you know what? Let's just let's just let's just let's just do it on this one. Let's exclude. So we'll exclude, and then we'll exclude anyone who has already scheduled an appointment. So go ahead and get the thanks for scheduling. Yeah, go specific, and then um, yeah, get that one. Go ahead and copy that. Perfect. Okay, cool. So we'll change the 30 to 180 and then um, paste in that. And then this one's going to be um, real estate leads or real estate ebook leads or real estate book leads. Yes. So these are, these are, this is a specific audience. They have, they have, they have opted in and, and downloaded the book. Very specific. And, and they haven't go to create audience. They haven't scheduled an appointment. Mm -hmm. So so they landed on the thank you page, but they haven't landed on the thank you for scheduling. So go ahead and, and create another custom audience. Click on that one, create another custom audience. And now this is going to go website. And now we're going to create a custom audience um, around everyone who has actually scheduled. So um, all website visitors specific. And then... Um, Go ahead and copy the link for the thank you for scheduling page. Okay, so there's that audience. So this this audience is scheduled appointments, scheduled appointments. Okay. And, and, and it's not just real estate related too. So again, anybody who scheduled a damn appointment with you will go into this audience, which is which is fine. So scheduled appointments. And then create audience. So here's what we're what we're what we're what we're working with. Um, hit done. Okay. So when it comes to future ads, like what you'll always want to do, and it's really ad number two and on. Ad number depend on depend on that first ad. Depend on that first ad and how how much you spent for it and how much how much how much engagement or 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 clicks you got on it, the first ad, that would kind of determine if you want to retarget them for the second. So let's just let's just call it from ad number three and on. From ad number three and on, there should be some some good data populating in these audience audiences. Meaning by the time I'm on my third ad, I should have some people who landed on the damn page. Okay. By the time I'm on my third ad, I should have some leads by that time. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, and so from the third ad and on, 
what you'll always want to do is retarget your page visitors only. What you'll want to do from your third ad and on is always exclude leads and appointments. Okay. Now on your third, by your, by the time you get to your third ad, you may have appointments, you may not, but you, you'll for sure have some leads. So mm -hmm. that audience may not be big, but it, but it doesn't matter if there's only one person in that audience. It doesn't matter. I still want to exclude them. So as I go and set up my third ad, my fourth ad, I'm always, always, always from ad number three and on, I'm always going to retarget the page visitors only, and I'm always going to exclude leads. And if I have appointments, I'll exclude the appointment audience as well. Because okay. I don't need those two audiences, appointments and leads. I don't need them to keep seeing my ads, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, um, especially if I'm talking about the same thing, like a different ad, but on the, on the same thing, download my book, right? Yeah. So I have 19 ads ready to go. And every single one of them is about downloading my ebook. So mm -hmm. ad number three, and from ad number three to 19, those leads, they don't need to keep seeing your damn call to action on downloading the damn book, right? They've already opted in. So make sure you always exclude, exclude them. But for those who haven't opted in, they're going to they're gonna keep seeing my ads. If you landed on my webpage three weeks ago, you're going to keep seeing my ad because you landed on my website. Right. Right? So the only time you're not going to see it is if you opt in and you land on the lead mm -hmm. audience. Then I'm now excluding you. Now you won't see my ads no more. You know what I mean? So... So those are those are your three main audiences, man. And, and again, as you grow, you'll you'll start to build more audiences, but but everything evolves around those three. So here's what we got to do now. We got to now create our custom conversion. Now, a custom conversion. Click on your um, click on your free ebook at the top, the tab, free ebook, your landing page, your opt-in page. Okay. So when when someone runs an ad, their goal is to get people here, right? Mm -hmm. Click on the ad, come here. That's the goal, right. but the ultimate goal is to get them to the schedule your schedule free call page. Exactly. So that's what we're telling Facebook. We're telling them our our ultimate goal. They want to know about your ultimate goal. They don't care about your goal. They want to know about your ultimate goal. The ultimate goal is to get people here. Now the ultimate ultimate goal is to get them to schedule a call, but we're we're optimizing and we're going to run ads to get people here. Let's get them here. This is a lead. So, so you're optimizing for lead. You're optimizing um, for conversion and for, for lead. So it's this page that we want to tell Facebook about. This is the page we want to run Facebook ads to. Now, it's the opt-in page. They click on the ad. They go to the opt-in page. Yes, but we're ultimately paying to get people here. And so we want to tell We want to be very specific to Facebook. We want to say, hey, man, we're willing to pay you guys if you guys can give me people here and they just need to know where here is. And that's what we're about to tell them. And that's a custom conversion. So go to the ads manager and we're going to click on the dots to the left and we're going to click on events manager. So let's click on events manager. Um, and then you're going to hover over that blue triangle and we're going to click on custom conversions. Okay, so this one over here, appointment leads. The reason why I think it says, well, there's a couple reasons why it doesn't say, you know, it says no, no recent activities because number one, you changed out the link, and mm -hmm. and then number two, no one's landed on it just yet in the last four days. That's why it's saying no, re no recent activity. But go ahead and click on it, appointment leads. It should be that old link, and we'll just, yeah, see. So there's the old link. So now just click on manage at the bottom, manage. You'll see it right there below. Um, yeah, click on manage, and then um, you're gonna you're gonna simply delete it. So hit the drop down to the right of rename and just delete it. We'll do a new, a new one. Okay, so now all we're gonna do. Um, so if you delete this, because you will not be able to see it in the ad reporting. Um, okay, so how come it's not letting you click the blue one? Okay, this customer is currently being used in a domain's web configuration and can't be deleted. You must remove the custom conversion from all domain configuration to be free. Okay, so let's go, let's, that's good. That's good to, con that's a new notification. Let's do that first. So go to, um, close this out, go to, the, um, go to the, the dots to the left and go back to the events manager. And let's just delete it from over here. So events manager, and then 
Um, towards the middle of the page, you'll scroll down and click on the aggregated um, events measurement. So right there towards the middle, you'll see, um, yeah, the aggregated, yeah, go right there, aggregated event measurement. Let's click on that real quick. We may have to, and then configure web events. And then over here, we'll click on um, domain verified. So click on that. And then this, it's reading this one. So the signed event, the one, so click on that. And then click on manage events. Okay, edit. And so over here, it's saying we gotta, we gotta delete it from here. So um, go ahead and, and scroll to the, the very, very right. Can you move to the right? Let's see, scroll, cause we wanna, we wanna get rid of this one. Um, you should, th there's, let me open up my, yeah, you should be able to see below. Like, I don't know if you had to move your cursor but um, there's more information below. Configure web events, just hit the blue button. What we'll do is we'll just um, custom conversions. Let's just see if we can change out the link. So um, go ahead and click on it, appointment leads and click on edit. So scroll down or click on manage, scroll down. Actually, you might not be able to change the link. Hit manage. Yeah, see, so, so that link, that all you can do is change the, the name of it, appointment leads but we'd have to, we'd have to, um, we'd have to get, get rid of that in the, on the other page so that you have to be able to, to scroll to the right of that page. So um, X out of this, go back, go hit the dots, go back to events manager. It's definitely a little Facebook bug because we can't even get to the right side of, of this man. So if anything, bookmark this page and then just come back to it, come back to it in a few hours and, and what you're looking for is you're looking for um, the green button to the right of events slots filled. You're looking for that green button, but then also you're looking to the right of one event. You should be able to X that out. Um, and that's what, that's, what, that's what it's reading right now. It's reading this one. And, and because you have it set up, appointment leads, it's not letting you delete it on the custom conversion side. You know, so you gotta you gotta delete it here, and mm -hmm. then we can go delete it over there, and create our new custom conversion around the new thank you for opting in link. Yeah. You know, so um, we'll do that. We'll do that on our next call. That that's 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 the very very most important, but it's not at this point because you're not gonna run the ad just yet. So yeah, okay. we gotta make sure we we do that before we we run any ads. Okay. Okay. So. So then that was installing the pixel that was setting up your custom audiences. And then this part is, is the custom conversion. So really from this point on, it just comes down to editing those pages, man, editing those okay. Karcher pages, um, <clears throat> getting, getting your ebook and that's it, man. And then once you have that knocked out, then, then that's when we can go run some ads. Oh, perfect. Yeah, dude. So, so um, what's today? Today's what is today? Thursday. Thursday. Okay. So, um, Shit, right now in a few minutes, Karcher got that got that call. Um, they they do a call every Tuesday and Thursday mm -hmm. um, at this time, your time every Tuesday and Thursday. So it ain't bad. It ain't bad if you got if you got time right now, jump on that Karcher call, and 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 just and just and just absorb the information, man. Okay, because that's your next step right now. Is 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 just really making sure you're you're editing these pages, these Karcher pages. Okay, or or you can jump on my call every every Monday and Wednesday where I just do a group call. Um, on, on Karcher, on editing all them damn pages. Yeah, that's perfect. You said that's available even after we finish, right? Which one? Uh, yours. Yeah, every yeah every every Monday and Wednesday I do one at what are you Central Time? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So every every Monday Wednesday I do I do a Karcher call at three p.m. Central, and then every Tuesday and Thursday Karcher does a, a call every every th every Tuesday and Thursday at three p.m. Central. Right. Okay. So so their call is about to start right now. Um, yeah. in, in three minutes, if you want to jump on that one, but I yeah. think you have to register. Did you register for that one? Yeah, I get the replays. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, man. So just knock that part out. Let me know if you need any help with that. And then let's, let's schedule our next call, man. Whenever you're, whenever you're ready. Cool. Sounds good. Thanks. Cool D. Okay, man. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. man, peace.